Czołem ludziska, z tej strony Staszek, a my gramy dalej w Zero Escape No i tak jak zapowiadałem ostatnio, niestety nagrywam ten odcinek jeszcze przed wyjściem poprzedniego, więc nie znam waszych komentarzy Ale na pewno sobie nadrobię, na pewno będę je komentował na bieżąco w komentarzach e, Skoro nie jestem w stanie teraz na filmie No ale właśnie, odpowiemy sobie dzisiaj na pytanie, o co chodzi Clover z tym Lone? Co chce nam powiedzieć? Gdzie jest Snake? I jak mamy podzielić swoją grupę, ażeby przejść dalej? Mniej więcej, no najlepiej byłoby tak, żeby każdy przeszedł rzeczywiście przez te drzwi, tak? No i jaka będzie, czy będzie zmiana zasad? Czy nie trzeba przechodzić przez wszystkie drzwi? Czy, czy trzeba przechodzić przez, przez wszystkie drzwi, drzwi i będzie jakaś zmiana po drodze? Zobaczmy. Hmm? I said leave me alone! Tak. Jednak leave me alone, proszę bardzo, tak? Czyli jednak I want to be alone, coś takiego, nie? Czyli jednak to pierwszy pomysł był poprawny. Suddenly she was screaming. You're so annoying! Just go! Jumpy was taken aback. Uh, um... Such anger and hate. Jun's eyes had gone wide and with surprise as well. Why are you still here? Didn't you hear me? Rzeczywiście, no nagle pokazuje swoją zupełnie inną twarz. Taka spokojna, wesolutka dziewczynka, nie? A teraz nagle cyk pyk. Totalnie zostaw mnie w spokoju, odejdź, nie chcę ci widzieć. Huh? Fine, forget it. If you aren't gonna leave, then I'll just... All right. Let's go, June. Uh, yeah. They turned and left Clover. <laughs> As they did, Jumpy glanced back over his shoulder to see Clover wiping tears from her face. Być może w sytuacjach stresowych tak po prostu reaguje. Clover had driven home the misery of their situation, but Jumpy told himself that getting depressed would get him nowhere but depressed. <sighs> We really need to find Snake, for Clover's sake. He did his best to push away the misery and depression and forced a smile. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? No właśnie, jestem teraz ciekawy. Czy... Czy... To, co odkryjemy, będzie oznaczało, że Snake'a już z nami nie ma, czy jednak będzie z nami, bo coś odkrył. Ale to dziwne, że się nie zjawił, nie? Nie jestem ciekawy, co się mogło z nim stać. The hallway with all the rooms. W sumie byliśmy chyba wszędzie już, nie? A możemy wrócić do kasy na raz jeszcze? Let's go take a look. They turned and headed off down the hallway to their right at the jog. Ale byliśmy przy kasynie. Hmm. There's no one here. Let's try somewhere else. Ok, a teraz ciekawe, teraz nikogo nie było, ale dziwne, że dalej było to aktywne. The hallway with all the rooms. Let's go back downstairs and check out that hallway with all the doors. Together they run down the stairs. Oh, it's Ace. Ahead of them, further down the hallway, they spotted Ace. Hey Snake, where are you? Answer me if you're there. What should Jumpy do? Oczywiście run to Ace. Let's go. With June in tow, Jumpy jogged up to Ace. Hearing their footsteps, he turned to greet them. Ah, hello there. The General Kenobi. Snake is... well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's sake. Right. June's face looked kinda enraptured. By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why would you say that? The question seemed somehow odd to Jumpy. Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. And looked at him for a moment, and then spoke. Ace, przepraszam, looked him at. Uh, jeszcze raz. Ace looked at him for a moment, and then spoke. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Czyżby kolejna teoria spiskowa, że to wcale nie jest rodzeństwo? No tutaj zobaczcie, rzuca nam ta historia cały czas znaki zapytania. Jest rodzeństwem, czy nie jest rodzeństwem? Snake widzi, czy nie widzi? Seven coś knuje, czy nie knuje? Czy, czy stracił pamięć, czy nie stracił, nie? Im bliżej poznajemy te osoby, tym bardziej zastanawiamy się, o co im chodzi. Tak samo Lotus też jest mocno podejrzana. Ace na razie wydaje się taki najbardziej 
stabilny, stateczny i nie wzbudzający większych podejrzeń. Now that you mention it. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. Jumpy wasn't sure why or even if he was seeing what the thought, what he thought he was, but he could have sworn that Ace's face tightened as he spoke. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. Może Ace też ma brata bądź siostrę, który nie wygląda podobnie do nich, a może coś się z nimi stało. I dlatego jest tak, a nie inaczej, tylko tak zareagował. E ten, aha, dobro, dobra. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. Uh. Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. At June's urging, they they left. They felt, prawda, przyszedłem, dobra. They found themselves back at the start, but Jumpy's mind was in turmoil. Something about that was. I'll think on it later. No, właśnie. Co takiego Jumpy mógł tutaj wyczuć? Znaczy, czy ja coś czuję tutaj podejrzanego? Znaczy, no to, to napięcie, kiedy mówił, że nie wszyscy muszą wyglądać tak samo, ale ciężko było coś więcej wyczuć. Jak było coś do wyczucia, to pytanie brzmi, to było coś naprawdę delikatnego, nie? Jumpy to wyczuł, ja bym w ogóle nie zwrócił uwagi na to, nie widzimy tak zwanego body language, tak? Nie widzimy, co, jaka jest mowa ciała jego, nie? Ace'a, więc no jestem ciekawy, o co może tu chodzić. Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. Jumpy did his best to clear his mind. All right, where should we go next? No, w sumie byliśmy wszędzie, nie? A dał cały czas pozwala nam wrócić. Let's go check out the first class cabin. Jeszcze raz okay, polecę tam. Okay, I'm coming with you. They quickened their pace and headed for B deck. <sighs> no one's here. Maybe we'll have more luck somewhere else. But where? No właśnie, byliśmy już w sumie wszędzie, tak? Możemy wrócić do teraz szpitalnego pokoju. Let's head back to the large hospital room. All right, that's probably the best idea. Together they run down the stairs. W sumie to już nie ma ani żadnych dziewczyn nie ma, tak? Jak tutaj były i łaziły. I don't think anyone is here. Hmm, what next? Ale zaraz. A, i mamy finish searching. No już sprawdziliśmy dosłownie wszystko, tak? They looked everywhere they could think of, but Snake was nowhere to be found. Snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. Lotus looked around at six frustrated faces and spoke. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. Jumpy couldn't disagree with what she was saying. Snake seemed to have completely disappeared. There was no point to wasting any more time. There, the others seemed to be having similar thoughts, but they stayed silent. Finally, Seven spoke. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not going to find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've got to figure out who's going to go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. She walked back and forth across the floor, her heels clicking against the wood. No, ona miała propozycję, to prawda. Finally, she stopped. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Ha! Sacrifice? Ciekawe. Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Leaving behind three people with two teams of four and three. Hmm. Jumpy wasn't quite sure that was true. Wait a minute. Hmm? Two people get left behind if we split into five and two. And one person is left behind if we split into three, three and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. But if we split into four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Just run the numbers. Let's say we go through door seven with one, four, five, six. Who's left over? That would be three, seven, eight. What's the digital root for that? 
No właśnie, zobaczcie kto zostaje. Zostaje 378 dokładnie, nie? 3 plus 7 plus 8 is 18, so add 1 and 8, 9. Exactly. But door 9 isn't here, right? That means 3, 7, 8 won't be going anywhere. That was just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but the result will always be the same. It doesn't matter which four it is. The three that are left over can't go through any of the doors. Go ahead and calculate it if you have the time. You'll see. <coughs> anyway, that's how it is. Now, if we can get back to my proposal, we only have to sacrifice one person if we split into three, three, and one. When Seven spoke, his voice was strained. Then... You're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind. Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No właśnie, ale teraz... Y może to się rozwiązać dość szybko, gdyż... Gdyż może chcieć zostać Clover. Tak? Skoro nie ma Snake'a. Bo oni chyba cały czas ją liczą, tak? 3 i 3. A czy czekajcie, liczy 3 i 3, prawda? A nie, czyli Clover też zniknęła? Było ich 9. Przepraszam bardzo, chyba, chyba, przecież, chyba też nie liczało Clover, nie? Nie ma Clover, nie ma Snake'a, więc nie ma dwójki, nie ma czwórki. Mm, tak. I nie ma dziewiątki. Pozostała szóstka. Faktycznie. Tylko, że nadal pozostała szóstka, czyli, czyli liczą Clover mimo wszystko. No, that's too cruel. What's so cruel about it? To to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant. We shouldn't sacrifice anyone. I, I told you that's impossible. Wake up. Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Santa stepped between Lotus and Jun. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is. You should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. Huh. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? Kurczę! To troszkę taki danganik, nie? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you, shut up! <laughs> What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree. I guess. All right, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. To prawda. Znaczy, możemy się liczyć na to, że wróci czwórka i wróci dwójka, tak? Czyli Ace albo Clover. Bo ewidentnie ich nie liczą, tak? Jeszcze raz szybko w głowie posprawdziłem, no to faktycznie... Znaczy... Ha. Chodzi o to, że mamy zrobić 3, 3 i 1. To jest 7 osób. Więc tak naprawdę liczą Clover. Ale czy ona w ogóle nie będzie chciała? No właśnie ona zaraz będzie wszystkich przepytywać, więc pytanie, czy w ogóle tutaj jest. Ja nawet jej tutaj nie widzę. Pytanie, czy Clover w ogóle jest tutaj obecna. No właśnie. Clover had moved away from the group and was sitting on one of the beds. Her whole body drooped. Jumpy didn't know if she'd even heard Lotus's pro proposal. Hey, Clover. Lotus walked over to Clover but, and gently laid a hand on her shoulder. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Ale jak mógłby przejść sam? Skoro... Kurczę, w sumie nie zastanawiałem się nad taką opcją. Czy on może... Znaczy, wydała mi się tak abstrakcyjna, że on przeszedł przez któreś z tych drzwi, a może przeszedł przez te, które nie mają... nie mają liczby na sobie narysowanej. Clover slowly lifted her face. Let's go look for him together, okay? If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. Clover nodded once. <laughs> The motion carries. Kurczę, jak ona, jak ona tutaj, zobaczcie, zmieniła w ogóle spo, sposób narracji. Trochę jak matka do niej, nie? Podeszła i proszę bardzo, wyciągnęła co chciała. Potrafi manipulować ludźmi, skubana. Lotus spun around and walked toward Jumpy. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. O, Ace chce się poświęcić? 
Ace had barely spoken for Lotus's entire speech and everyone jumped a little. Six pairs of eyes turned to look at him. He didn't seem to notice, or even care. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Simulator. <laughs> Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that. That won't solve anything. June's voice shook, and she looked around desperately for someone to agree with her. As Ace simply looked at, looked at her. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True, but that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. Finally, Jumpy could hold his tongue no longer. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? Ace's voice was di dignified and without a hint of cruelty or malice. Jumpy had no rebuttal. You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Jumpy stood frozen by indecision, unable to move. Najgorsze jest w sumie to, że jeżeli Ace zostanie i Snake'a już nie ma, albo coś się, albo może jeszcze będzie, ale no na razie nie wiemy co z nim, to brakuje mi, znaczy odpadają w sumie tacy, bym powiedział, osobowości yy, liderzy. O, może tak. Ace wyglądał mi tak, takiego właśnie o, o, osobowość li, yy, z taką, no, jak to się mówi ładnie, osobowość liderską chciałem powiedzieć, ale to nie wiem, czy to brzmi dobrze. Po prostu wydaje mi się takim liderem. Snake wydawał się też inteligentnym gościem, też pasował mi na lidera grupy. Natomiast pozostała część to jest taka dość chaotyczna. Ja bym za żadne skarby nie chciał, żeby Lotus dowodziła ekipą, mimo że jej plan, mim, no właśnie, pomieniąc fakt tego, że wykluczamy jedną osobę, ale no miał rację, to był, był sensowny, tak? Albo, albo jedna osoba, albo co? Albo dwie? Albo wszyscy? <coughs> Zaczyna się. June bit her lip so hard that Jumpy feared she would break the skin. Santa stood against a wall calm and aloof. aloof. Seven tore his beanie from his head and turned it over anxiously in hands, in his hands. Only Clover stared at Ace with an expression Jumpy was unable to decipher. Lotus's attitude, however, was different from the others. Good. Let's accept his kind offer then. No, ona jest taka, powiedziałbym, że taka zimna sucz. She smiled, her eyes bright. Ace answered with a smile of his own. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. As he spoke, Ace lowered himself down to the floor next to one of the beds. I co się dzieje teraz? From somewhere deep in the ship, Jumpy suddenly heard the screeching of metal on metal. It was almost as if the ship were screaming. Would it really hold until their time limit was up? Already the deck was flooded. In the sudden silence, the only sound was the sad metal wail of the ship. And surprisingly, it was Lotus who spoke first. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? As if a spell had been broken, the others all began to talk at once. Zrobię tutaj taki taktyczny zapis, bo prawdopodobnie za chwilę czeka nas jakaś... Być może... Być może jakaś ważna decyzja do podjęcia. You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously? 
Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait all of you! Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be! Right, Jumpy? Say something! Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. His words sounded hollow and fake. Fine! Forget about it! I'll figure it out on my own! She spun around and ran toward Ace. He had slumped down next to the bed when June grabbed his arm and pulled. Ace! Come on, Ace! Please stand up! You can't give up yet! We just have to sit down together and think about this! We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here! Then it happened! 21 minut odcinka, nie mogę przerwać. Zobaczmy, co się stało. O! Ace fell forward. He slumped over onto the wooden floor, his body folded in half like a boxer out cold. Ace! Może on wiedział, że z nim się coś dzieje. I dlatego zaproponował, że on zostanie. June cried out and dropped to her knees beside him. She put her arm around his neck and did her best to lift him up. What happened? Ace, say something! She shook him, frantically. His eyes fluttered open. I'm alright. His voice was weak and slightly slurred. How are you alright? This. He held out his left arm and slowly opened his hand. A syringe? O kurcze. Co jest tam napisane? Soporil? It, in it was a syringe and a small vial. The vial was empty. I had on, it had only recently been emptied, a few drops clung to the sides. There was a label taped to the side of the container. It read Soporil Beta. Soporil Beta? Soporil Beta. What does this do? Soporil beta. Okay, dobra, dzięki za poprawkę. Did, did you use this? Yes. It's just anesthetic. I'll be fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be using it on myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Jumpy knew that wasn't why he had done it. Ace had injected himself with anesthetic to forestall Jumpy and June's attempts to bring him along. If he, could, if he couldn't move, there was nothing they could do. O kurcze skubaniec. He'd injected himself so that they would be forced to leave him behind. Ace! Hmm? Is there something you want to say? I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No! Don't, Ace! Don't fall asleep! Ah, you feel warm. So comfortable. Proszę bardzo, czy my się już przenosimy na OnlyFans? I think I'll have a nice dream. <laughs> Troszkę. Ace's eyelids drooped further and further, almost as though he were dying. Ace! Ace! She shook his shoulder again and again, but this time he didn't respond. Only the gentle rising and falling of his chest told them he was alive. Jumpy was relieved to see he was, in fact, still briefing. Uh, let's get him up on a bed. He lifted Ace up on the floor and laid him on the bed he'd been leaning against. When Jumpy turned around, Lotus gave him a look of pity. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste, right? <sighs> like you even mean that. You say something? <laughs> no, nothing. It felt wrong, but he'd had to agree. Then suddenly, Santa spoke. 
Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. No właśnie, w którą pójdziemy? No tak, mamy teraz rzeczywiście decydować, to ja sobie tutaj zapiszę na tym samym, na tym samym slocie. No właśnie, chcę mieć przed samym, wiecie, wyborem, w razie czego mieć możliwość y, zmiany z, d, d, zdania, chociaż jak widzicie po tej grze, że można sobie po prostu wybrać miejsce, z którego chcemy kontynuować przygodę, więc zapisy są takie dość, no może niekoniecznie niepotrzebne, ale na pewno nie aż tak ważne jak w innych grach. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. No tak, i teraz i widzicie, czy teraz tak, 8 idzie do 8, więc teraz, żeby to się powiodło, no to jakieś pary muszą wejść, tak? Pary, które łącznie są tak zwanymi jokerami, jak ostatnio mówiłem, nie? Czyli coś, co da łącznie 9, wtedy dadzą radę. Czyli na przykład 1, 2 plus 7. Czyli mógłby tutaj pójść 7 oraz dwójeczka. E, aha, Snake, to nie. Trójka plus szóstka. To jest... Kto jest trójką w ogóle w tym zestawieniu? Santa? Który ty jesteś, Santa? Santa jest trójką? To wtedy szóstka, no to byłaby June, tak? No i cztery i pięć, czyli Clover i Jumpy. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. Hm. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Her face distorted by rage, Lotus took a step towards seven. He threw up his hands and made a face like a child caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. She shot him a glare that would have melted steel, then turned and stalked off. All right, who's next? Santa's gaze moved across the three people left. Finally, they stopped on jumping. Junpei, which door do you want? At last. Jumpy's mind was already made up. No właśnie, czy chcemy trójkę, czy chcemy siódemkę, czy chcemy ósemkę? Jak sami widzicie, nie do końca jakby mamy... Nie do końca jestem w stanie wam oddać ten wybór tym razem, bo no, taki mamy środek odcinka w sumie, tak? Więc nie ma innej opcji. Natomiast yy, wiemy, że siódemką idzie seven. Przynajmniej na razie ma pójść, może się to wszystko pozmieniać. Ósemką idzie, idzie sucz. Prawda? No i mamy jeszcze trójkę. Nie wiadomo, które drzwi doprowadzą nas do którego drzewka tam, tak? Nie? Więc to pytanie brzmi, przez które byśmy chcieli przejść, tak? Ale ja myślę, że też bliska jest mi ósemka. Ja bym poszedł kierunkiem w kierunku suczy. Tylko jeżeli ja będę chciał tam pójść, to do mnie, do piątki, musiałaby dołączyć siostrzyczka. Czyli Clover. Co w sumie nie jest głupie. Idę z dwoma laskami. Znowu nie idę z June, ale idę z dwoma ciekawymi laskami. Jedna jest sukowata i jestem ciekawy, co się kryje pod tą powłoką sukowatości. I mamy też siostrzyczkę, która szuka brata. Tak, więc ja bym wybrał ósemkę. I... I... I think I'm gonna go with door 8. Ok, 8 it is. Yeah. Alright then, that means June's gotta go through 7. Znaczy wiecie co, też byłoby, też byłoby to ciekawe, e, ponieważ... To byłoby, znaczy to byłoby nadal interesujące, bo nikt nie wybrał trójki. Gdybym wybrał trójkę, to trochę bym zamieszał. Oni musieliby zrobić roszadę, bo nie bylibyśmy w stanie przejść przez drzwi numer... Przez, przez, przez trzy drzwi. Trzy pary drzwi. I to jest dla mnie ciekawa rzecz do sprawdzenia. Jak oni by zareagowali na to? Nie? Jakby to się... Jakby im to wywróciło w mózgach wszystko, nie? To, to w sumie na to nie zwróciłem uwagi. Bo faktycznie mogłem też wybrać trójeczkę. Ale no, może kiedyś będziemy to nadrabiać i zobaczymy inne drzwi. What? Why? What? Santa gr gr grimaced, grimaced and muttered, muttered angrily to himself, but finally began to explain. If the six of us are going to keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. No, połączyliśmy się już w parę, tak? Czyli, no tak jak mówię, czyli ja jako piątka mogę iść tylko z czwórką, która żyje. Natomiast dlatego ja dostałem wybór. Seven może iść z dwój... A właśnie, Seven nie miał z kim... Znaczy nie, Seven wybrał drzwi siódme. No dobra, okej. Okay. Nieważne, idźmy. Plan A. Have three, five and eight go through seven. And four, six and seven go through eight. 
Plan B. Four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Plan C. Or three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. Wszystko policzone? No ale właśnie. Tak, czyli mamy tutaj takie połączenia. Mhm. Mm There are no other combinations. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Okay, fine, you've explained that. As Santa finished, June looked over at Jumpy. Tears, tears welling up at the corners of her eyes. Oh no! You're saying we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. Ah. Uh. Jumpy felt just as June did. He wanted to be at her side through whatever trials they were preparing to face. But he knew if they were to survive, he had to swallow his feelings. In order for the six of them to move forward, he and June had to be separated. He looked at June. He was scared to lose her, but he swallowed, stilled his resolve and did his best to smile. Hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. We got to split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably? She didn't sound very hopeful. It was seven that interjected. W sumie, no, w sumie to ciekawe, czy się rzeczywiście spotkają z powrotem, nie? And I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Oh, ciekawe podejście. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. Ale go najbardziej mi ciekawe, co było, gdybyśmy przeszli przez trójkę. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Teraz coraz bardziej mam ochotę przejść przez trójkę. June said nothing. Hmm. The tears were gone, but her eyes were still sad as they looked at Jumpy. He met them, and with what reassurance he could manage, laid his hand gently on her shoulder. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. June bit her lip and gave him an almost imperceptible nod. Yes. Promise? Her voice was barely above a whisper. Santa's voice shattered the moment. <sighs> You guys are done, right? He stretched and continued. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Clover looked away and, she, and, and was silent for a moment. Whatever. It was more of a dismissal than an agreement, but Santa didn't seem to care. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. All at Santa's command, the group split and headed for their respective doors. Santa, Seven and June walked toward door 7, while Clover, Lotus and Jumpy headed for door 8. For a long moment they stood in front of the door. Lotus, uh, then Lotus laid her hand against her chest and turned to Jumpy and Clover. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? No, oh, they shot fair of book. It's open. A narrow hallway stretched out before them. Okay. Hurry. Lotus and Clover leapt through the door. The moment they did, their bracelets peeped. The detonators in their bracelets had been activated. Jumpy stepped forward to follow them, to follow them. But as he was about to step over the threshold, she stopped. He stopped. <sighs> he looked to his left, toward door seven. June stood there, a mirror image of Jumpy. She turned and looked toward him. Their eyes met. June. Jumpy. Oh. They nodded. Their farewell took almost one and a half seconds. What the hell are you doing? 
Then someone took hold of Jumpy's arm and hauled him bodily through the door. He heard the sound of the numbered door slam shut behind him. His bracelet gave a cold electronic beep. 81 seconds left, hurry! It's Tashka. Lotus snapped at him and ran to the dead. Ugh. Jumpy and Clover Hop followed her as fast as they could. <sighs> Tashka Znika. It stopped. With a shaking hand, she wiped a few beads of sweat from her forehead. Clover, however, was calm, aloof, perhaps. Pointless. She muttered to herself without emotion and began to walk down the hallway, leaving behind a confused Jumpy and Lotus. Lotus watched the girls re receding back with a mix of frustration and curiosity. What an unpleasant girl. I bet she's not very popular with the boys. Her sarcasm seemed a little more biting than was, perhaps necessary, but she sighed and started after uh, started after the younger girl. Hmm, maybe pairing these two together was a mistake. <laughs> Too late now. I better catch up to them. After taking a moment to catch his breath, Jumpy followed. No dobra, ale przy tej ścieżce oh, przynajmniej... dead end. Przynajmniej jesteśmy w stanie poznać kolejne dwie osoby. Dlatego nie wybrałem po raz kolejny ścieżki z Sevenem. Jeżeli w ogóle byśmy byli tak połączeni, nie? The hallway made a number of turns before at last coming to a dead end. There's a door on the left, though. For a few minutes, they stood in front of the door, examining, examining it. Uh -huh. Ooh, above the door uh, was a plate with the word laboratory engraved on it. A laboratory? Laboratory. Oh. Okay, nie laboratory, laboratory. Okay, oni tam te oz jadają. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't like the look of this place. Me either, but there aren't any other doors. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Jinpei. Huh? Please, you first. <laughs> Jumpy suspected her politeness was motivated by something other than respect. Ugh, fine. Jumpy muttered to, his, muttered, muttered to himself and pushed open the iron door. Laboratorium. Być może kolejny escape room. His first steps inside were tentative and careful, but as he examined the room, it became clear that there was no imminent danger. Lotus followed him in, and Clover brought up the rear. Basen, basen, basenowy basen, widzę. The room they found themselves in was divided into two separate areas by a curved wall. A thick glass window uh, built into that wall made it possible to see into the, others, into the other side of the division. You know, I think the window looks into another room. Maybe it's for monitoring something. Jumpy walked to the window and looked through. What the hell? He wasn't sure what else to say. Oh! To nie jest jednak basen, ale wygląda trochę jak basen. In the center of a room shaped like a quarter circle, a mannequin laid, uh, lay on what looked like uh, a medical exam table. Ugh, it looks so creepy. Co to jest? Android mannequin? Jumpy looked a little, jumped a little. Jumpy jumped. He hadn't noticed Lotus came, uh, come up to him, uh, come up next to him. It's kind of like that doll is waiting for surgery. This is a laboratory, right? I'd say it's more like it's waiting to be experimented on. Experimentują na manekinie? Ooh. Uh. It's creepy either way. You don't think that thing's gonna suddenly sit up or something, do you? Well, I don't know. I mean, look at all those cables sticking out of it. If we press the wrong button, I don't know. <sighs> Stop it. Just thinking about it is terrifying. She was gripping her arms, the knuckles on her hands white. Wait, where's Clover? She was still standing near the entrance of the room. <laughs> her face had the appearance of calm, but it was drawn and somehow sad. What is she? There was something almost pitiful about her. Jumpy walked over to her and, as kindly as he could, spoke. Are you okay? Clover looked away. What are you talking about? What? I, I'm just worried about you. You've been real quiet. What? I can't be quiet if I want to? 
Well, I mean, of course you can. I, I just... Okay, then. If I can be quiet if I want, just leave me alone, okay? Come on, you know I can't do that. We gotta work together. Clover beat her lip. Wszystkie gry you just don't yes. get it! Jesus. And was silent for a moment, then suddenly... Tak? Jumpy, you just don't get it. Her cry took Jumpy by surprise, and, she, and he stumbled backward a few steps alarmed. My brother's not the kind of person who just leave me behind! Something happened to him! No, w sumie właśnie. To jest jakby dość, dość możliwe, tak? Something... something bad. Yeah. Jumpy had nothing to say. Lotus, jolted from her mannequin nightmares by Clover's voice, turned toward them. What happened? Clover's eyes slid to Lotus, then back to Jumpy. Look, just don't bother me, okay? Leave me alone. Finished, she turned around. Before Jumpy or Lotus could say anything, Clover had begun to walk quickly away. Hey, wait, Clover! Hold on! That way is... I told you to leave me alone! He might as well have been f talking to a wall for all the no for all the notice she took of his cries. Not even slowing down, she made for a doorway cut in the wall in front of her. Without even slowing down, she passed through the doorway. I w tym momencie się zamknie, skoro mamy jakby podział na dwie ekipy. Clover, watch out above you! Tak. Micro medium plastic, and without warning, an iron gate fell from the ceiling like a portcullis. Port portcullis? Co to jest? Ceiling clover in. What the heck? What's going on here? Clover grabbed hold of the iron bars and shook them as hard as she could. Hang on, I I'll get it open. Oh, for crying out! You'll never do it on your own. Jumpy grabbed the bars and pulled. No, standardowo muszą szarpać. In a moment, Lotus joined them. The three of them pulled as hard as they could, but... Mm -hmm. Damn it! It's not moving! Wait! Are you gonna give up? Just like that? No, I'm not giving up. This has gotta be another one of Zero's puzzles. If it is, then there's gotta be a way to open it. Jumpy nodded. Just what I was thinking. Now all we gotta do is find it. Lotus and I can look around out here. Clover, you're gonna have to see if you can find anything in there. Oh, yes, I'm on it. No, no to mamy. Laboratorium jako kolejny pokój, gdzie będzie musieli współpracować z drugą osobą, która jest zamknięta w innym pokoju. Takie trochę we were here together. <laughs> Nie? We were here ogólnie. Laboratorium. Tak ono wygląda z góry. Mamy pokój na górze, mamy pokój na dole. No właśnie. Wygląda dość ciekawie. No dobra, no to zacznijmy się rozglądać. Jumpy! Do something, please! Mhm. Mm dobra. A window made of really thick glass. I don't even think a bullet could break in. Could, could, uh, could break it, tak? No dobra, rozejrzyjmy się zatem. Czy mogę lewo, prawo? Dobra, tymi yy, bumperami. These lockers are a little larger than the ones on top. Let's see if there is anything useful in here. And no, nothing. Okay. O! Otworzyło się coś. Etanol, proszę bardzo. Etanol, I wonder if this is for antisepsis. Oh, it says anhydrous ethanol. Anhydrous? Is that different from the regular ethanol? Come on, that's common knowledge. Anhydrous ethanol is a powerful cleaner. It can even erase marks left by a permanent marker. Ah, to ciekawe. Czyli może usunąć zabrudzenia. Nawet, nawet, nawet z tego, z jakiegoś markera, tak? Czyli do usuwania. There, are, they are cardboard boxes. There is some papers and stuff in them. What's in the boxes? They look quite full. As far as I can tell, it's a bunch of notes about some kind of experiments, but it's all really technical and stuff. I don't really get it. They are cardboard boxes filled with papers. Dobra, a tutaj? Nie wiadomo. A couple vertical lockers. There isn't anything useful in them. Well, I guess that's all there is. A whole bunch of steel lockers. The nine on the right all... 
the 9 on the right all have little red lights on them. Red lights, huh? Well, can't hurt to give these babies a try. Yep, just as I thought. Locked tight, all 9 of them. I wonder if there's anything important in there. No zobaczmy, że mamy 9 po lewej, 9 po prawej, 9 otwartych, 9 zamkniętych, a mamy też komputer. This is the computer. The power isn't on. Well, there is a power button. This is a waste of time. What? I don't see a power cable. Oops, yeah, you're right, no power cable. This thing isn't even connected to a main computer though. It's got a monitor, keyboard, mouse, but that's it. Just sticking the power cable is in isn't going to do anything. Oh, I don't know about that. Hmm. The mouse. The keyboard. This is the computer, it doesn't have any power right now, so it isn't working. The power cable, huh? Może musimy znaleźć ten... ten... E, no... Ten kabel, ale coś tam brzmiało, jakby niekoniecznie kabel był potrzebny? Niby są jakieś kable tam. No dobra, zobaczmy, co jest z kolejnej strony. Wymaga... A, potrzebujemy kluczyka chyba, tak? This is a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole for the activation key. I think this thing's supposed to power that machine in the other room. Well, it doesn't appear to be doing that. I wonder how we are supposed to turn it on. This is a really old type of keyboard. Jakieś przyciski, guziczki. Tu mamy jakieś coś, ale to nic ważnego. Mamy też zegar. The hands on the clock have stopped moving. The clock may stop, but time goes on. No time to screw around. We need to figure out a way out of here. No dobra, tu coś leży? There is a lot of stuff here. I don't know we could use any of this. Mm, well, I can say for sure that I don't know how to use at least one of these things. I do know, przepraszam, oni don't know. Which one? The one on top. I think it's a power cable. The power cable, huh? I'll take that. No dobra. Three pronged power cable. No takie właśnie mają wtyczki w Ameryce. This is definitely a power cable. Do you remember if we ran into anything that didn't have power? Tak. No niesamowite, ale wiemy. And stand for various pieces of equipment. Some of them might be useful. Tylko niestety wygląda na że naraz nie wiemy, czy jakiegoś potrzebujemy innego. There are two levers, levers here. Do you think they activate something? Well, why don't you move on? Move one. All right, I'll give it a try. Nope. Doesn't look like anything's happened. Nie ma zasilania, nie ma ruchu. Tutaj byliśmy. Dobra, tutaj mamy znowu coś. It looks like this door is the exit. The door on the right just goes to the laboratory. Nope, this door isn't going anywhere. No dice. It won't open. I mean, that's about as much as I expected. I don't think Zero would let us out of the room quite that easily. Zdecydowanie. This looks like the control for some kind of electric lock. The red light is on. Then it's gonna be locked. That's a green light just below it. There is, tak? Although that's one... that one isn't lit. I bet it will turn on if we can unlock it, right? Yes, but how are we going to unlock it? There is no keyhole, no card reader, and no keyboard for putting in, putting in a password. Hmm, I have no idea. Coś damy radę zrobić. The control device for the electronic door lock. There is no way to input the password, though. If we want to open this door, I bet we need to do something somewhere else. Hey, Clover! There is a door over here, too. Wait! I'll be right there! I can hear her over there. Is this door gonna... Damn it! I can't open it. Clover! What about your side? It won't work! I can't even move the knob! To też mam. This looks like the control for an electronic door lock. There is a red light on the display, that means it's locked. If we can get the light to turn it green, then maybe we can get Clover back. Postaramy się. No właśnie, tu widzimy różne rzeczy, to mam coś do rysowania też, zobaczcie. Is this like an examination table? There is a creepy mannequin in here, guys. There is something sticking out of the mannequin's head, like wires or something. What the hell were they doing in there? Huh? Why is she all quiet now? 
they were doing experiments on humans, probably. Oh man, now she looks sad. No to ciekawe, no, ale widzimy tutaj na razie manekina, który ma podłączone jakieś te. Czy, czy możemy założyć bardzo delikatnie, że któraś z tych osób jest jakimś androidem manekinem, czy bardziej w kierunku faktycznych eksperymentów? There is a manekin lying on the exam table. I can't really see it very well from here, but it looks like there is a there are a bunch of electrodes sticking out of its head. I think this thing is a monitor for whatever experiment they were running here. There is a bunch of stuff on here like resistance value and voltage. The power is off, so there is nothing on it right now. This is the monitor. There are a whole lot of cables under this table. I wonder what this is. This thing here looks like a voltmet voltmeter. Voltmeter? And is this the control for that? Gosh, there is so many dials. Why don't you try turning one of them? Uh, nope, nothing. Uh, there is no power here, guys. I turned the dial a whole bunch, but even if I turn all the switches on, nothing happens. No, wiemy już jak włączyć, tak? Bardziej czego? I wonder what they washed here. There are these weird colored stains all over the sink. Kolorowe plamy. It's a wash basin. Basin. More commonly known as a sink. No dobra. Tu mamy jakieś kabelki. It's a rack. There are a bunch of cables on it. Somebody cut out, cut the outer stuff of the cables and I can see the wires inside. It's a rack. There are some cables on top with copper wire exposed. I don't know what kind of table this is, but part of it is all black. There is a pen lying over here. I think someone probably used it to make the table black. Hmm. Well, if they only use the pen on one part of it, there is probably something underneath all that pen. Clover? Do you think you can erase it? Yeah, sure. Oh, this is a permanent marker. Jumpy, do you know how to erase ink from a permanent marker? No mamy etanol. Erase ink from a permanent marker, huh? Give me just a minute, Clover. I'll be, I'll be right back. To musimy jakoś jej to przekazać. Part of the table's been colored over in black with a permanent marker. If I could find something that could get rid of that ink, I could hand it over to Clover through the bars. No właśnie. A nie skończyliśmy się jeszcze rozglądać. Those are the stairs I just came down. The bars and the gate are just above me. Okej, okay. mnóstwo też leży tutaj tych rzeczy. No dobra, no to przynajmniej wiemy co trzeba zrobić. No wiemy dwie rzeczy jakie możemy zrobić, tak? Czyli weźmy etanol. Tutaj. Clover, use this etanol. You should be able to wipe off that permanent ink with it. What am I gonna wipe with? Oh, well, your clothes of course. Your clothes, Clover. Use your clothes. Haha, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Please don't look at me like that. You are scaring me. Aha, czyli jeszcze musimy dać jej coś, czym będzie. Anyway, you could wipe off that perm uh, could you wipe off that permanent ink? Look, Clover. Right now, at this moment, you are the only person we can depend on. I'm trusting you with this. Haha, <laughs> you you trust me? I feel kinda special. No dobra, zrobiła to, czy nie zrobiła tego? Chyba zrobiła to. O, nie chciałam tego widzieć, ale dobra, idziemy środkową, środkowym przejściem, jak widzicie. Czyli być może, zobaczcie po tym escape roomie, a widzicie, no taka jest ścieżka, po tym escape roomie chyba spotkamy się już z resztą. Mamy, jak widzicie, ścieżkę, która prowadziła do innej ścieżki też, nie? Będziemy to może badać, bo to w sumie jest ciekawe. Ale właśnie, mam 54 minutę. I have to get Clover out of here now. Więc myślę, że kabelek... Włożymy sobie już w kolejnym odcinku, tak? Wiemy, że musimy ten kabel użyć na komputerze. Jak wam się podobało, zostawcie lajka, komentujcie, subskrybujcie i bądźcie na bieżąco. Jestem cały czas ciekawy, co się faktycznie wydarzyło ze Snake'iem i czy jesteśmy w stanie dowiedzieć się, co się wydarzyło ze Snake'iem. Snake został, Ace się poświęcił, chyba z tego nie ma żadnego innego wyjścia. Tak jakoś wyszło. No i idziemy dalej, prawda, z ekipą. Więc zobaczymy. Tymczasem to tyle ode mnie. Trzymajcie się wielka piona i do zobaczyska za dwa dni.